guys at home. I've got a um, super to put on top and a queen excluder to put on top. I actually want to go through and make sure there's a queen in there if they're going to play ball with me. If they're not, I'm not going to worry. I'm going to do that another day. I want to take that feeder off because it's not the right size and it should, doesn't fit the hive anyway. I have my bee suit on because it's 12 degrees. It's going up to 13 degrees today. It's, there's no wind at the moment and to be honest it's quite mild. They've been in and out flying for the last two days. I feel quite confident there's a queen in there because they're bringing in pollen. I'm doing this now because it could be cold weather coming up and I just want to make sure everyone's got enough food in there. If they haven't I'm going to put some more fondant on top and I just want to get this one open and crack on and see what's going on. They got drowned in November um, when the roof flew off and it filled that feeder up and the load of them drowned so I want to see how strong they are. Um, I'm going to need my rubber gloves because they could be washed easy, my hive tool which I use different hive tools for every hive, my lighter, my fuel and my smoker. In and out as quickly as I can. I'm going to open up, uh, take off the feeding box, quickly go through the frames, see if there's any frames that need to be changed if they're in a bit of a state. If the queen's laying, all well and good. I don't want to be too long in there at all. I'm going to get in and see how it's going to go. Oh, if they do turn shitty, I'm out of there. Okay, so I've very, very gently smoked the entrance. Taking, taking the roof, roof off. Be very gentle with this. There we have a crown board. Lift this up, hopefully it's not too stuck together. Oh, make sure there's no clean on here. That's what we're looking for. I'm going to just rest it on the side so they can get back into the hive nicely. As you can see, I've got national frames in here. An empty frame. There shouldn't be any be any uh, babies on here. No, there isn't. There's definitely plenty of babies in here. As we have loads of pollen being put in pollen cells. There won't be a queen on here necessarily. I wouldn't have thought so. I'd be surprised if there is. I'll pop it in very, very, very gently. There's a massive brace comb on the edge of this. Yeah, there's actually eggs in here, cap cells, so I'm not going to take that out just yet because I'm happy with that. I don't want to disturb them. There's a queen in there, blatantly, because there's eggs, capped eggs, and like I said, it's not hot enough for me to want to be putting it around right now. What I am going to do is get a good frame, a good clean frame they can start on. I'm going to put on the edge. A brand spanking new clean wax frame, so I'm going to whack that in there give them a nice clean frame to work on. There's a clean frame up there. There's a frame of eggs there, a frame of eggs there. There will be a queen in here. I'm not going to mess with her. Give me two more weeks and we'll have them all happy as Larry. Opened up and find the queen. But until then, I'm going to smoke them back down so I don't squish any of them. I'm going to put the queen excluder on. Because I don't want the queen going up into the super. I'm going to put this super on top, which fits the Langstroth. Just slide it across, spin it round, so anyone... Just slide it off there. And now they have a whole new box to bring honey up into. This is what the Langstroth should look like. Basically, that's the size of a regular Langstroth. And also, I've got some frames they can build from the cut comb. I'd like to do, have some cut comb, but we'll see. I'm going to stick the crown ball back on, which is the roof. And actually, I don't think I need any food right now. If it gets really, really cold, I will stick sugar strut on the top here. So that's a nice little in and out, nothing too intrusive. At least I know where we are now. We have three mainframes in the middle with brood and honey in. 
So as you can see from that hive, it's a particularly nice hive. Um, the only problem I had with that hive last year is it swarmed three times. So they're obviously a very kind of swarmy hive. Um, really nice temperament though. So I'm happy for them to keep swarming and keep breeding with them because they're lovely. They swarm so late in the season. I'm amazed they even got through this particular um, queen that was left. I'm quite surprised she made it through winter because they didn't have hardly any bees in there. But by the looks of it, She's working quickly, which is good. Yes, hive one down. I'm going to have a little Hempson. Got two hives there. One I'm not even sure has made it through winter because they were really strong going into winter, but I think they were too productive and they might have um, exceeded themselves, but that happens. I'm going to get some take some queen excluders with me so that every hive I go into, I'm going to put a queen excluder on it and try and stop the queen going up into the top boxes so we know where she is and she's in the bottom brood. And um, we'll go from there, we'll see. And if you have a source of water, or I've got a great big bucket of water here with a lily in it, please make sure you cover it so the bees can get back out, or put something in it so they can get back out, or else they drown themselves, because they go for the water and they can't get back out, so. Okay, here we are, this is the hive that's got no bees going in and out of it. Um, it built up really quickly in November, it was still building up like mad. It did have a whole super full of food on top of it. I have a feeling Everything's dead in here. Yeah, it didn't even make it up. Look at that. Still got the food on there. There's no live bees in there at all. Oh, this is the hive that's so built up so fast. Got honey in here. I think. These pretty tragic. Let's have a look. What's going on? This hive is oh, so stuck together with propolis. It's like concrete. Let's see what's going on here. Look, we have a lot of dead bees here. They've taken the, some of the in there. They've even got in some of the cells. They've taken some of the sugar down it's got them i wonder cold maybe i don't know what's killed these off let me see might be something in the very bottom i to find out like i said i took the queen excluder off so the queen could get up so she wouldn't starve mm, that's not looking good though they had a look at that there's honey in there if there was no babies I don't think she was laying. I think Queen had died and all that was left were worker bees. There was no brood in there. But look, they're um, two procedure cells. They're trying to recreate another queen with worker cells. That's very, very odd. Maybe, I don't know. <laughs> I'm at a loss. I'm going to contact my wonderful beekeeper buddies. See, there is there's worker cells there, they're like those bees in there, yeah. Look at that. There's bees there, so the, the queen was there. So maybe she wasn't laying as well as she should do because if you look at this, look how many cells there are. One, two, three, they're all trying they're making supersedia cells. So I don't think the queen was working as she should be, maybe. That's all I can summarise from this. Um, there's no, no, not out of stores. She was still laying, blatantly. Oh, that's not good. She was still laying. They weren't out of stores. Um, there were a lot of dead bees. This is the horrors of coming out of winter, I tell you, I hate it. This is the more worst bit, when you come out of winter and you open a hive and you go, oh, bugger. What the? The laying pattern's all, I mean, the actual honey pattern's all wrong. It doesn't, there's nothing in there to dictate like there's wasps. I mean, if a wasp, wasp had come in and actually killed them, basically they'd be decapitated. There's no decapitation going on. There's no mouse in here. There's no mouse damage by the looks of it. 
Yeah, I can't figure this out. There's a lot of... That's gross. There's a lot of dead bees. So, this is one for my... Torbay Beekeeper Group. The funny thing is, this hive was doing so badly. And about August time, the Queen suddenly went, Oh, I know what I'm supposed to do. I'm supposed to lay loads of brood. And I opened it up and she was laying like a plethora's. And so I, it was a fingers crossed and hope that she had enough stores to get through winter. I did put some um, fondant on and they were desperate for some fondant. Um, and I've been in checked and I don't think they ate all of it last time. But they're bringing in loads of pollen, so there's definitely a queen in there. There's definitely babies in there. Let's go check it out. Oh, this hive actually got blown over. It went sideways in the wind. Ah, oh, it's a fucking what are you bastard? Well, sorry, Queenie. That's good to know. It's better to get rid of those nasty things. Gosh, you nearly had me there. You stung me. Little sly thing, she's hiding in there. Seriously, well, that's uh, something grim. <laughs> Sorry about that, people. Okay, these <laughs> bees have got fondant and are loving it by the looks of it. Oh, they're all over that fondant like a rash, so. To me, that to me looks like they're starving. They're not bringing in, they're just using it. But what I'm actually going to do is go underneath the crown board. Oh. That didn't work quite as well as I thought. So I thought it was going to be stuck down, but it wasn't. Okay. So let's lift this crown board up. Gently, gently, gently. You don't know where the queen is, bearing in mind. What I am checking for, basically, is brood. I'm going to gently put this over here. So if the queen is there, which she won't be, I doubt. I very much doubt she'll be in there. Oh, this hive has not done very... just doesn't want to draw out frames. Look. There's a bloody wood louse in here. Here's the thing. I have to say, I'm not a massive fan of wood louse in the hives. There is a massive amount of brood in here. I'm going to shut this hive up. Because you're getting out. Anxi. Drop that back down in there. There's a queen in there. She's working. They're not drawing this blooming frames out though. Even though I've got brand new frames in there. We've got a whole frame of brood there. Whole frame of brood there. They haven't got a lot of stores though, to be honest, which is why they're getting. <laughs> Let's quickly smoke underneath it. Let's get him down, 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 down. I'm not even going to bother putting on a queen excluder right now because I don't know where the queen is. I'm going to tip it to the side and just spin it gently, 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 gently around like that. No bees will be hurt in this production. Oh, I'll stick the eek back on. This is an empty super basic. It's called an eek. We saved them from the waspies that was waiting to get in there. A minute I'm happy with that. Yeah, it's not bad going, is it really? There's a queen in there, she's laying, that's a result. And listen to them buzzing. It's just a real shame about that other hive. But you win some, you lose some. 